So now in this video, we're going to look at the AND logic gate. The first video for the AND logic gate, we're going to use switches because they're easiest to understand, just mechanical switches. As you can see here, we have a battery schematic symbol. I don't normally use that these days, but since we got a bunch of components in series, it's kind of nice just to loop back to a battery. And uh, in any case, positive side of the battery, if one switch is open or the other switch is open or both in this case, then the output's going to be off. It's going to be low. The LED is not going to light up in this case. We have to close both switches, turn them both on, and that's indicated by one when it comes to digital electronics because these are on or off. There's no middle ground. So this is digital electronics. The two inputs on will be needed to turn the output on. So there may be more than two inputs, but in this case we have two, A and B. It may go A, B, C, and then output, or A, B, C, D, if there's four inputs, and so on. The output on the schematic symbol, I have X in this case, sometimes it'll be Y. When I look at the integrated circuits, usually they say Y on them. So you may see X, you may see Y, so I'll use both from time to time. Now, we covered uh, pretty much everything on there. So let's get to the actual circuit. Unfortunately, I forgot to shrink this down before I print it, so the schematic's really large for our circuit. But uh, we can see here that I have two switches in series there, and there's two switches in series on the board. So we'll zoom in. You can see you got positive to the top of that switch, and then the bottom of this switch, we have this jumper here. We could put the jumper there too, doesn't matter. Bottom's always connected, top's always connected. So now this is basically one long row there and one long row there. So we have the jumper coming down to the top of this one. Down here, we're going to put our load. So that's going to go back to the uh, negative side of the supply. Even though this is a battery schematic symbol, it can represent other power sources. So, but it is DC. That's the uh, main thing. There's a positive and negative. Sometimes you'll see like uh, a line coming down here in a ground symbol. I think that's due to people drawing their circuits with a software that demands you do that. I draw mine with Microsoft Paint. And uh, so I can draw it however I want. But in any case, you may see a ground symbol down at the bottom to let you know that's the zero volt reference point. So I'm gonna take a 220 ohm resistor since we're gonna use five volts and put that to the bottom of the switch. Again, we could set it over there, doesn't matter. Same exact thing. And now we got this spot here. And just in case for some reason you can't see the schematic there. So we got the LED, that's the long lead, the anode side of it, short lead, the cathode over there. The uh, cathode also has a flat edge. If you happen to trim them, not all LEDs have that flat edge though, but a lot of them do. So there we go, we got the circuit. And even though this is a pretty simple circuit, and you can probably figure out how it works, we'll demonstrate it. Both of these are open right now, they're off, zero. And uh, so that's the top one there. We'll press the uh, switch of one of them, and that could be that one or that one, doesn't matter. Again, we press just one of them, and uh, nothing happens. So we press both of them at the same time, and the LED is on, or high, or one. However you want to uh, name it, depending on the type of circuit. So this is an on-off circuit, for the most part. So we'll go with that. But in any case, that's it for the AND gate. And this is the uh, basic way that they are set up, although there's more complex version. The integrated circuit is quite a bit more uh, complex than this. You can look that up in detail, but actually using it is even easier in a sense. You just give it a signal, it does the rest. You don't need to make mechanical switches or anything. But in any case, those are topics for uh, other videos. Make sure you check out one of the videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, and all that good stuff. I will see you in the next video.